my 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 gemini it is i it is me where it is she where it is viva it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again for you one time for the one time yes indeed to let you guys know what the uh self-guided energy is surrounding you right now yes indeed we are finding out what your inner self would like to say to you right now um so before we get into this energy i want to uh give a shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies to everybody for like and share and subscribe and I thank you as well for your patience because I had to take a little break because I did get sick so um but you know we won't get these messages out um before we get into this reading Gemini I just want to give a shout out to God so if you wouldn't mind let's give him praise and thanks Father God thank you so much for collectively bringing us here for the sign of Gemini thank you for providing um, protection love and healing for us please give the sign of uh, Gemini uh, the best inner self guidance uh, that they can tell to their self what does their inner self need to tell them right now what does uh, the sign of Gemini need to hear Father God thank you for carrying us on your back thank you for lifting us and and thank you for um, just giving all of this love and generosity to us that you give to us every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. All right. So, Gemini. My, 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 Gemini. Let's see what we got going on for you, baby. Let's see what we got going on for my Geminis. All right. What is the inner self-guidance we have for the sign of Gemini right now? What is the inner self-guided message for the sign of Gemini right now? All right. What is the inner self-guided message? We got beloved one and one more. All right. We got leadership. All right. So with the God. Um, okay. So with the. Beloved one, off the break, I just got like God is talking to you. Um, I feel like you you may not really be listening to him at this time. Or maybe you're not receiving his messages or something like that. Or you may be overlooking like some type of sign or something that he is like putting in front of your face. But this says, um, beloved one, I am helping you with your situation um, and with your spiritual soulmate relationship, it don't even say with your situation. I just seen that for some reason, but it says, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. And I don't necessarily feel that it has something to do with a soulmate relationship. That's why I say with your situation. So it's something that's going on with a situation in your life right now where it's like you're having to take leadership. You're having to step up and, you know, take charge. And it's like maybe you're not seeing and it's like you're still waiting for God to send you a sign or to send you some help. And it's like you might have to stand up for yourself. You might have to do it for yourself. Like God may not be sending you help at this time because it may be something that he believes that you can do on your own. So let's get into this. Let's see what we got going on, Gemini. It says, it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So, it's right now it's not the time for you to receive help. It's, it's time for you to take leadership in the situation, like I said. Um, so, we're going to see what this, got, what this got to do with what's going on. Yeah, I, like I'm really hearing this. Like you may not want to at this time. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just, I heard you may have to take a step down from a position. Yep. You may have to take a step down. And it's the Six of Cups in the, yeah. Okay, so this is a situation where I feel like you, you feel like you're doing the brunt of all the hard work by yourself. And you may have to take a step down. You may have to reduce a level of your responsibility. Especially if you're going to be doing this shit by yourself. You know, if you're not going to be on a reciprocal and receiving end of the same type of love and generosity that you've been giving out in return. Then what's the point of you doing it? What's the point of you doing it? It's like, you know, these people are not going to help you. They're not going to come to your rescue. It doesn't matter of 
how much time that you've been involved with these people and how much like I said, love and generosity that you, that you poured into them, you might not receive it back. So don't wait around for someone to give you a helping hand. It may be time for you to just like chuck your losses and just be like, you know what? Okay, it's cool. I'm going to have to do this shit on my own. But I, I know that I know this now for next time. I can't depend on this person. I can't depend on these people. Like I'm going to end up having to carry this load on my own. So let me do it alone then. So it's like releasing yourself from some level of responsibility. Because if, if I'm not going to get the same love and generosity and respect in return, then shush, let me just reduce my involvement all the way around the board. That's just basically what I'm getting. And it's like God is giving you the answer. You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't wait. Don't wait. Like this person or whoever, whatever the situation is, is already showing you who they are or what they plan on doing. So it's like, all right, that's your answer. You got to play. I feel like you'll have more free time to yourself. More energy as well. Why am I getting more energy? I'm like, you're going to have more free time with more energy. And I feel like you're going to have more help on the other side. Regardless if you realize it or not. Like, you'll have more support once people start seeing you doing things on your own. Look, it says be honest with yourself. And then what was this? It just went back. And it was like heart chakra. But I am going to put that back because... I feel like before you can even introduce what focus on what your heart feels right now right now you need to like be honest with yourself about the situation and put yourself in it put yourself in a frequency where you can start enjoying life a little bit more because it's right now Gemini I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you've been taking on by yourself with no help because if you see it's like this person went into this opportunity thinking that someone was going to help them build something together. Like, you know, I wouldn't, I didn't go into this um, woodlot and purchase all of this stuff with the intentions of me carrying it home by myself. I needed a ride. You know what I'm saying? I had the money to buy it. I, I, I made the investment. But you were supposed to pick me up and you were supposed to drive me to the location and we were supposed to build this together. Only thing I asked you honestly to do was to pick me up and to take me there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like you didn't make any investment at all. Like you were literally about to um, kind of freeload off of me a little bit. Like now that I look at it and... Now that I hear myself talking, and I'm like, only thing that this motherfucker was about to do is to give me a ride. So it's like, I'm kind of glad that you didn't show up. Because I'm about to get me an Uber. I'm about to call me some real construction workers. I don't need nobody that really don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I'm sorry, now that I'm listening to myself talk about this situation, I I'm so glad that this person didn't show up for you. Like, I'm so glad because in, in general, like, you were about to put your head together with someone that didn't have anything to bring to the table, financial or skill-wise. Like, they were about to watch what you were doing and were literally about to just help you put together your own shit. Really. And was about to live up off of you and live in the comforts of your own home making you feel and making themselves feel accomplished like they really did something when they really did nothing <laughs> but literally pick you up give you a ride maybe offer some free gas and handed you a nail and a screwdriver and, and some shit and just stood around and watched you work <laughs> like oh my god oh my god I honestly feel like Gemini, now the now that you've realized 
and you're being honest with yourself that this person really wasn't about to help you anyway and they were about to benefit more off of you than they helped you at all. Um, <laughs> you have a different standard of life now because I don't even think that you're going to end up working at all. I think that you're going to be overseeing this project now that you're not having to do it yourself because i'm not going to do it myself i'm about to hire me some real workers i'm about to call me somebody to come meet me at this lumber hall some contractors i've already uh, paid for the material so only thing i'm about to pay them is for labor their, their skill set in labor and hauling and I'm about to sit back and, and <laughs> go do some other shit while I watch them work and build my shit immaculately. Immaculately. Not only that, I have a warranty. If anything fuck up, I could just call these people and they'll come back and fix it. I have a warranty plan now and I'm not overworking myself and now I have free time where I could go and do some other shit. And not only that, like, I, I kind of have built-in equity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because everything is basically paid for. So, like, I'm cool. I could honestly flip this house and just, like, pocket it on and go do me something else. Like, I don't know. And I don't have nobody to take credit and say that they helped me build. They helped. Nah, like, I'm free. Like, I'm good. I feel, like, I'm serious. Like, the more and more that I'm thinking about this now... Thank God for the people that didn't show up for you. <laughs> thank God. Gemini, thank God. And be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself about this situation. Because you was about to have to do all of this shit by yourself. And he's probably... These people weren't about to do nothing but frustrate you because they were just about to stand around and ask you what time lunch was coming. Why are you sitting over there sweating? <laughs> it says be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation. It is safe to admit the truth to yourself. For we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Learn upon, lean upon us for courage and the strength to take a good, I'm sorry I can't read. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they will come to you upon angels' wings. You know the truth of the situation. You know that this person was not about to give you what you were giving them. You know it. They was about to take advantage of you and I'm glad that they showed you now instead of you being in the thick of it and I'm disappointing you later okay it says play beloved one it is time to set aside work for a while don't worry we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion didn't I say somebody else was going to be doing it for you so you could do okay okay it said um Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you will return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. Go find somebody else to do it. <laughs> God is like, find somebody else to do it. It's like, I, I want you to go and enjoy yourself. Don't worry about these disappointments, baby. These disappointments are blessings, sisters. Their rejection is God's protection. That's the only thing you got to understand. That it was God's plan, baby. Look, look. God's plan. Oh, God's plan. Look at that. When all of this just, just split open in my hand, you got the two of coins. You're more balanced. <laughs> you are more balanced. Child. You got the chariot. And you got the high offense. Come on, baby. Stop playing with goddamn Gemini. My, my, my Gemini. And you got the world card off of the top. Please stop playing with y'all, beloved. You seen all those major arcanas all on the upright? Niggas is uptight. You on the upright? 
Niggas is uptight. You want to upright. Baby, you got the chariot. You are emotionally free. You are good where you going. Okay? Hold on. <laughs> While I'm here, I'm riding down the highway. Oh, Lord. In my pink Cadillac. Okay? Uh, uh, on the freeway. Oh, Lord. In my pink Cadillac. Okay? I'm just... <laughs> Yeah, we riding on the freeway. Oh, Lord. Look, I am literally seeing you guys riding down the freeway, top down, your sunroof down or whatever, hair blowing on it, and your music is cranking, and you are just by yourself, like, thoroughly enjoying your ride. Like, you is just cruising. You know, it's one thing when you are emotionally sure of yourself. You are positive where you're going. And like I said, you got a little coinage to play with. I feel like you made a wise investment. You made a wise investment in just saying, you know what, instead of um, me overworking and overexerting myself, you know, let me get somebody else to do it. I feel like your credit it kind of builds your credibility a little bit because I feel like you're building um networking skills. Like you got a list of people, you got builders, you got plumbers, you got electricians, you got you know what I'm saying? So it's something about moving forward. It's like you feel more confident about your progression because I, I, I feel like you have um, a good team together and you're very confident in them in their work so this might have started out with like you building something for yourself and then it's like damn we did a good job like you guys because remember when I said something about earlier it's like these people did a good job in such an amazing amount of time and you guys pulled it off so good and you can make so much it's like you got so much equity into it instead of you living in it you decide to flip that shit you know what I'm saying into another property like two more pro like you you end up doing something where again it's like <clears throat> I want to say it's like you're learning. Under the Hierophant, it's like you may be learning a new lifestyle. It's like a new form of dedication to a new lifestyle. It's like that you created for yourself. It's like you prayed over yourself. You are very dedicated to this. And again, it's like... um. I want to say growth within your network. It's like you're listening. You're being educated. Like you're around a lot of smart people. Um, a lot of people that do the same thing that you want to do. That you're learning to do. You could be growing in the ranks. Because I want to say it's like you're under good mentorship. You're under good leadership. You're under good leadership. And again... It's teaching you about leadership. How to put a team together. How to, you know what I'm saying? How to value your time. How to be confident and understand, okay, well, these people don't want to work with me. These people are not going to put the same energy into the project or into whatever it is that I'm doing. That's cool. Like, I'm good on that. I accept that truth. That's, that's good. You know what I'm saying? Um... It's about management skills. This here right here is about management skills. It's like about not feeling the need like you have to do everything by yourself. And about having good people surrounding you that would truly help you. Like paid services. I'd rather pay somebody to come around me and do good work than... To have people that's supposed to help me when really I'm helping them and, and really they helping themselves. 
I'd rather get somebody else to do it. So it's like no more friendship uh, mixed up with business and you allowing people that really are not professional or um, what's, what am I trying to say? Have the credentials. They're not professional, nor do they actually have the credentials to pull off this work to the standard that I need. So, no more favors, no more help on people out because they need a job and, and, or because you're my boyfriend. And one thing I'm going to tell you off bucks, if you have any type of business that you are creating, do not hire your family, friends, or loved ones, or anybody that you do not Go and get paid professionals that are licensed, insured, and have the credentials to back that shit up. That comes with a warranty. And while you're paying these people to do this, you can go play, enjoy yourself, and focus on new investments. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, listen, Gemini... This has been your reading. And again, you're in a new chapter of your life. A new chapter of leadership. You being supported. And I really do think that you've been like asking God to help you. To send you some type of help. Baby, you are the help. <laughs> you are the master. You are the leader. <laughs> like You <coughs> you are the hierophant. You're the teacher. You are the help. Okay? These people... Operate under you, your standard, your law, your rule. So this is a new day. No one's coming to help you. You hire to help. You manage the help and you make sure that they build and they do what you need to do to your standard. Be loyal to yourself. Be patient with yourself and the individuals that you're teaching. You understand? Because you got to remember you got to be a good teacher and everything like that. You got to lead with love and you, you know what I'm saying? You know. But this is a new part of your life. This is, this is new. This may be new for you, but baby, you're going to thrive in this new leadership role. You're going to thrive. Okay? It's no more about you sitting around waiting and aiding and receiving help. This is about management skills. It's about a new leaf on life, a new hat, a new role in your life, baby. And when I'm trying to tell you that you rolling, <laughs> you rolling. You rolling. Oh, baby, you juggling them opportunities. You rolling, baby. So, my, 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 Gemini, y'all make sure that y'all click that like button. Y'all make sure that y'all hop on over to this next reading. I'm about to get into the love portion of y'all's reading. And I love y'all. Y'all thank y'all for loving me. Y'all let me know how this resonates for y'all down in the comment section. I'll see y'all. Peace.